know, suddenly you're sitting there with a with an empty piece of paper or an empty screen in front of you, and it's daunting to try to to think about creating something from the very beginning again. And you're worried that it's going to be uh, inferior to your first book. So one of the things that I really enjoyed was the fact that I did have this set of characters that I that I felt I knew very well, I was very comfortable with, and it was. Uh, it, it, it eased the transition into the book for me. I think that in a lot of situations, face-to-face -face conversations are are decreasing, and you know, in a small town, that's what you often have because wherever you go in a small town, you run into somebody that you know, and it's it's that element of community and um, and sort of a connection that I that I really wanted to keep in my books because I enjoy that and I think that a lot of people um, would enjoy it as well or maybe feel that it's, it's somewhat missing in their lives. I really like the character of Emily because I, I kind of patterned some of her characteristics after one of my, one of my own sisters, my youngest sister Molly. And um, the, the characteristics that she shares with my sister, she's very uh, very sort of self-sufficient. She's very much a go-getter, and uh, you know my my youngest sister is a landscape architect, and you know she's done internships where she's been driving dump trucks and you know supervising crews of men, and I could just see Emily being very comfortable doing something like that as well. I have two younger sisters. Uh, all three of us are very close. We don't get to see each other nearly as often as we would like, but every time we get together, it's just, you know, it's kind of like we revert back to being kids again and we're laughing. And I started thinking when I was kind of noodling ideas for the second book, I mean, what would happen if you had two sisters who, who were that close at one point, but experienced something that really no one would ever want to experience and something horrible and I was I was interested in sort of investigating how far that bond could be stretched before it broke I would say that you know if you if you're thinking about getting into self-publishing you have to realize that the competition has gone up several levels. You have to act serious about it. You have to create a professional product as professional as, as you're capable of, of making it. And, and that means hiring outside professionals if you're not as skilled in, in these areas as uh, you know a, a professional artist would be or a formatter or what have you. Breaking in as a self-published writer to the traditional market, it's harder. There are advantages and disadvantages to each way, depending on what you as a writer prefer and what kind of book you've written, you know, so I would just say be determined, write from the heart, write the best book you can, and then make the decision based on what's best for you.